All right, just gonna let it go through a roundabout here because I just let the car go through a roundabout. Oh, and I just changed over to the one click and I haven't gotten used to it. The update, most recent update added one click to full self drive. Well, this is just a half roundabout, so I might do a little better on this one here rather than the full roundabout. It seems to be very hesitant on it. That wasn't as bad as it did on the last one. I wish I had gotten that one on tape. It did a full circle. It definitely hovered and went very slowly around the full roundabout. Um, this is the full self drive. This is another example of driving inside inner city driving. It doesn't like the very wide roads without markings. This car really uses the markings. Vision system uses the road uh, lines to, uh, to know where it is. Uh, on wider roads, it tends to go wide and go more to the center of the road. Um, but other than that, I'll take you on a little trip and show you a couple of things that it does here. Construction and things like that, see if we can find you any examples. Here she goes. Uh, if you wanted to speed up on the turn, you can punch it through. Wow, that really went towards that car. If you put your foot on the pedal, it'll, it'll kind of force it to, to do what you want it to do. But that was, it went, instead of how I would drive that, I would have come in narrow, it went out fully and came around. It kind of looked like it was riding right towards that car. Again, these systems tend to do it more the correct way. So sometimes it can be a little bit weird because of how you would think you would do it. Uh, let's take the shortcut. And, uh, also when it merges, it didn't put any indication on to merge into the merge line. And then the indication goes after, which is fine. But it merges in fast. I noticed that hugely on the 401. It wants right into the merge lane. Touch the steering wheel again. And I've said this before, uh, when you have the other driving system, you can only go a little bit over your allocated speed limit. And whereas with this one, you can go as much over it seems it doesn't seem to stop i don't know if it would stop here 80 yeah it'll go really fast so over 60 so it'll go way over the speed limit with this system over what the mark whereas the other system uh does not it it, uh, it only lets you go so high so if it's like 50 it'll let you go to maybe 60 if you're lucky i like the night screen on this too when you're driving it's pretty cool that corner all right no problem and it should quickly probably merge left here you yep. know so you'll see here the, the merge lane there it's going to tuck in right away did a small indication and now the indication's turned on i don't think this light has an advanced screen so we'll see how it does on here with traffic push that out up there it wouldn't have taken that risk I don't think uh, this one here it's going to change lanes no it can go through here oh, it's going to turn me here okay thank you please like and subscribe and follow for more videos